Hi guys, welcome back. At NASA, we didn't talk a lot about feelings. In fact, all the way through the informal complaint process, nobody ever asked me how I felt. But when my complaint got to EEOC, that changed. It makes sense that EEOC would ask. I mean, emotional harm figures heavily into our damages, so that's information that they need. But how we express our feelings can affect our credibility and our case. And that's what I want to talk about today. And I want to do that in the form of three questions that I asked myself over and over again to make sure that the way I was expressing my emotion was actually going to boost my credibility. Question one, am I being clear? A lot of us have habits that muddy up our message, especially when we're talking about something uncomfortable like feelings. Most of us are used to beating around the bush about our feelings, especially at work. But in this process, I think it pays to be more direct so that our message is more clear. I learned that from my first meeting with the EEOC counselor when she asked me how I felt about something my boss was doing to me. And I told her, kind of. But at the end, I sort of glossed over my feelings by telling her that I'd made my peace with what my boss was doing, which wasn't exactly true. I thought I was doing the right thing by softening my feelings until I read the counselor's report, which said, she says she's fine with it. No harm done, no adverse action, no prima facie case, game over. Another habit I had that muddied the water was my tendency to laugh when I'm nervous. That can be really confusing for whoever's listening. If you're asking me how I felt when my boss was yelling at me, and I'm telling you how humiliating it was, but I'm smiling and laughing the whole time I'm doing it. I mean, that's going to make anybody question how bad was it really? Question two, are my feelings proportional? At one extreme are the people who try to show no emotions about what their employer is doing. And sometimes we all have to set aside our emotions just to get through the day. But if we do that all the time, we risk looking unaffected by the discrimination and Unaffected means no harm, no adverse action, yada yada. At the other extreme are the people who fly off the rails about something that really shouldn't have been a big deal. I tried to strike a balance between the two by trying to keep the emotions I was expressing and showing in proportion to whatever we were talking about. And to illustrate what I mean by proportion, let's talk about eye rolls. Those just burn me up. And I know I'm not alone in that because just about all of you have mentioned eye rolls to me, too. It's such an overtly disrespectful thing to do, and it's so childish, I mean, straight out of middle school, that it's hard not to be provoked by it. But to EEOC, eye rolls fit into the category of petty annoyances, which almost don't matter. So if we make a big emotional deal out of a couple of eye rolls, EEOC not only won't care, they might take a critical look at all our claims. Question three, am I expressing my emotions or dumping them? We want to tell EEOC how we feel straight up, but we don't want to give them a full force demonstration of those feelings. If my boss yelled at me and I'm yelling to you about it, your brain may realize that I'm not yelling at you, but it's still going to feel that way. Whatever feelings we're having, we can express them, but... You just want to be sure that we're dialing back the intensity to a reasonable level. Now, of course, none of us handle our emotions perfectly all the time, especially not in this process. It really tests your limits. So if we notice ourselves laughing inappropriately or talking a little too loud, we can take a time out. I'm getting a little carried away here. Just give me a second to get my bearings and I'll try to answer your question. So that's what I've got for today. Next week, I want to talk about some other ways we can boost our credibility. And you don't want to miss that. So hit the bell down there and I'll see you next time. So then take care and hang in. Fight smart and hang in to win.